Hello there, welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review. This Pen BBS 480 in a wonderful koi fish-like acrylic finish called Tiny Happiness. I would never have purchased this reddish pink finish myself, but this pen was donated to Ink Acquiring Minds from Jennifer, who is a fan from Toronto, Canada. Hi Jennifer. She sent it to me because the nib just didn't work right for her and she wanted it to go to a Pen BBS fan. There were indeed some issues with the nib on the pen she purchased from Pen BBS on their Etsy shop, but it was nothing a little tinkering couldn't fix. After last week's Pelican Hub, where, like all participants, I received a bottle of Pelican's Edelstein Ink of the Year Rose Quartz, I thought this would be a nice pairing for this lovely koi fish acrylic. I also paired it with a new nib. The Pen BBS 480 is a wonderful, affordable fountain pen model that is available in many different finishes and is also easily converted into an eyedropper filler that will accommodate a whopping 3.7 milliliters of pink ink. Let's take a look at this pink fish pen right now. <music> Last summer I received a very nice email from an Ink Acquiring Minds fan. Jennifer of Toronto, Canada wrote me and offered me her new Pen BBS 480 Tiny Happiness because, in her words, I don't have the tools or capabilities needed to get it going. By the same token, it's such a beautiful pen it deserves to be used. I tried to convince her that getting the pen going would not be difficult, but she insisted on sending it to me. Now I've got three other Pen BBS 480 models in Galaxy, Amber is a cat, and this lovely bone ivory finish called Cedar. And although this tiny happiness koi fish style finish is not one that I would have personally selected, it is very pretty. I've done reviews of this model before, one of which you can view by clicking right up here. So I won't go into the details of the parts and features of this model right here. I wanted to use Jennifer's generous gift of this pen to demonstrate the issues that she had with it, which aren't unique to this Pen BBS model, and to show you how easy it is to fix. Here is Jennifer's original medium Pen BBS steel nib and nib unit. Her complaint was that when she removed the nib from the section for cleaning, she discovered that the nib housing was cracked. And there's the nib unit and indeed it is cracked. So she pulled the nib and tried to fit it into one of the new Pen BBS nib collars from her Pen BBS parts bag. Now for those of you that don't know, the clear acrylic nib collars like this one that's cracked were prone to cracking as you can see from these couple that are severely cracked. This one actually even fell apart. But if you haven't removed your nib from the collar and it's cracked like this one is, right there, these cracks will not affect your pen's performance. The ink might leak into the section as it's done here, but a lot of pens do this normally anyway, and it isn't an issue unless your section is transparent and it bothers you. A couple of years ago, Pen BBS changed the style of nib collar to a frosted acrylic that is slightly thicker and therefore less prone to cracking. You can tell the difference between the newer one and the older one by the fact that the new ones are frosted and have this notch in the back and the old ones are clear and had a slash rather than a notch in the back. However this added thickness has caused issues with the new collars fitting into the sections of some models. Here is my Pen BBS 480 Amber is a Cat. I'll just take it out. It has the old style nib unit, no cracking, and let's put a new style in there and you can see that it fits perfectly. So that's the same model 480 and that one takes the new collar with no issues. Now here is Jennifer's 480 same model section and you can see that the new nib collar won't go in there. So that was the issue that Jennifer was having. These changes in section tolerances confuses me. Perhaps someone from Pen BBS can explain this to me. Regardless, Jennifer is trying to solve a problem that didn't actually exist because this nib unit fits in the section perfectly, cracks and all. And again, this ink will leach into 
that section but as long as that doesn't bother you that's not an issue now this nib did have some flow issues but i flushed it with homemade pen flush which is nine parts distilled water and one part ammonia and then i flushed it with clear distilled water and dried it now it flows well and the nib writes wet and smooth there is a touch of feedback which i polished out with some 12,000 grit micro mesh just a few figure eights on this 12,000 grit and it was good to go but now i'm going to swap out this medium nib for a pen bbs nib that i have that has been orphaned this is my pen bbs 535 ear of the aux from 2021 this pen is permanently broken this pen is a bulk filler based on the pen bbs 355 improved model the o-ring slipped off the piston and got lodged in the back there and is beyond my power to dislodge so the pen is useless the nib was great though i have it here in my nib fob and it has the older style collar with no cracks so let's take out the medium nib and slide in the year of the ox now this is a fine nib and it's in a rose gold color it's a steel nib and it has that ox engraved on the top of it and i think it matches the pen really really nicely i'll put that converter back in close this down i mentioned in the intro that this can be eyedroppered this 480 can be eyedroppered because it comes out of the box with this o-ring already installed ready to eyedropper the pen just remove the converter fill up the barrel of the pen to those threads and close it down and you've got 3.7 roughly milliliters of ink now i think that's a lovely combination i think it looks marvelous and it writes really nicely I like it better than the medium nib and it writes roughly the same size line so let's look at some measurements and then i'll do a writing sample and we're back with the writing portion of the review this is claire fontaine 90 gsm paper and this is the Pen BBS 480, and it is in the finish Tiny Happiness, and it has now a fine steel number six size Pen BBS nib. Tiny Happiness, or sometimes called a small but certain happiness was a term that became very popular during the pandemic in China to signify how focusing daily on things that bring you happiness will help you cope with the larger problems of the world, like millions of pandemic deaths, global warming, nuclear holocausts, and other bugaboos of modern life like that. So if you're overwhelmed by wars, famine, pestilence, and global conflagration, just watch children playing pet your cat or hold hands with someone you love. And we love our fluffy kitty. God, I hate this freaking cat. The term small or tiny happiness has come under some criticism in China lately for being an attempt by authorities to placate the society with facile platitudes and basically say, don't worry, be happy. Quai le. Quai le. And as a result, drive consumerism. But each time I think of those things, I just pet my cat and I'm good for another five minutes. Help! My foot has gone crazy! The ink today is the Pelican Ink of the Year for 2023, Rose Quartz, which I received at last week's Pelican Hub here in Calgary. Thank you to everyone who sent me their emails with best wishes for Yana Yegula and her Pelican Hub group at Pelican Pens. I've passed that email on to her. Those of you from around the world who attended one of the over 260 Pelican Hubs last week, you would have received a bottle of ink like this, a pad of paper, and a postcard from Pelican. And if you don't know what to do with your card, mail it back to Pelican, care of Ms. Yana Yegela. And her address is Ms. Yana Yegela. And the address is Pelican Strasse 11 
Pina, Pina. I don't know how to pronounce that. Probably means pen. Pelican Pen Street, Germany. Tell her that you want the new owners to know how much you love and support Pelican and want them to continue making superb fountain pens and inks. And Yana loves getting postcards. Let's continue with the pen. Check the wetness. It's decently wet for a pen BBS nib. Again, if you need to make a pen BBS nib wetter, which they all come out of the box fairly dry, that's their design, just give it Doug's patented seven strokes to inky happiness or seven strokes to tiny inky happiness. Just press into the page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. You know, I'm not pressing enough to spring that nib, but just enough to spread those tines. And then you end up with a fairly nice flow of ink. And this nib is nicely smooth and wet. If you've been watching me at all, you know I'm a big fan of these Pen BBS fine steel nibs with their slightly upturned tip, which I call a mini fude. And the line this nib makes is 0.5 millimeters in thickness, which is a Western fine or a Japanese fine to medium on my Richard Bender line width chart, which you can find linked in the description below. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing, it's very thin, very dry, but it does do it. And this ink is very, very pale. And for some quick writing. No issues whatsoever. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? First, I want to thank Jennifer in Toronto, Canada for sending me this beautiful Pen BBS 480. It gave me an opportunity to illustrate one of the issues with a subtle change Pen BBS has made to their nib assemblies. Others might have been experiencing the same issue. But just to be clear, the cracks in the older nib collars are not an issue unless the section is actually leaking ink. Most removable nib collars on any brand pen will leak ink between the nib unit and the inside of the section. It's only noticeable if your section is transparent and then only a problem if it bothers you to see that. Now if ink drips from the section then you have a sealing issue. It's usually because you're missing one of the tiny silicone o-rings on the nib unit itself. Here's one of the new nib collars with the o-ring at the top and the o-ring back on the back near the threads. So if you're having issues, check for those almost invisible o-rings. Make sure they're installed. The Pen BBS parts bag is a great investment as there are plenty of replacement o-rings of various sizes plus other replacement parts. If you have an older broken nib unit that definitely needs replacement and the new collar won't fit your Pen BBS section, then speak to Baini Zhang about it. You can contact her either via the Pen BBS store on Etsy called Pen BBS Official Store or through Instagram at Baini underscore Zhang. Whatever you do, don't try to force the nib unit into your section as you'll just crack the acrylic. And finally, guess what, Jennifer? Monday morning, I'm sending this beautiful pen back to you with both your original nib, which still works, and with this replacement Year of the Ox fine nib, along with a sample of the Pelican Rose Quartz. You choose which nib you'd like to use and enjoy your pen. You bought it after all. And thank you again for trying to give it to me. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. For watching.
And that's all she wrote. I made this.